<laughs> Meet bicycle. Hello everybody, welcome back to another Ultimate Vault Hunter Mode Legendary Weapon Guide here on Borderlands the pre-sequel. This is my complete analysis uh, and close look at every single legendary weapon and item in the game and today we're going to be taking a look at the legendary Flacker shotgun. So this is an explosive shotgun made by Torg, that is the manufacturer really really powerful shotgun as well actually if uh, you really train yourself to use it properly not the easiest thing to get used to you know there's certain ways of actually using it but uh, if you can you know pair it up with a good character a good skill set and uh, learn how to use it properly it can be pretty devastating and just absolutely rip through any enemy that comes near you so uh, yeah definitely one to uh, actually try and get so let's take a look at how to get it so the way to get this is uh, to go to Stanton's liver during the all the little creatures side mission this is uh, actually a you know able to get very early on in the game as soon as you hit Triton flats in the game pretty much you can go to the bounty board and pick up the all the little creatures side mission you'll be directed to Stanton's liver to do a little mission where you've got to uh, drain an acid pool and uh, go and rescue some talk cuties uh, and uh, at the end of that mission the even more disgusting talk will pop out and uh, that is when you will be able to take on that boss and hopefully get yourselves a flacker and uh, this is a farmable boss now the even more disgusting talk it wasn't at one point but uh, it is now farmable so you can go and farm that as many times as you want and uh, yeah that is exactly how to get the flacker shotgun so the red text on there says flack the world the special weapon effects that comes with the flacker are increased fire rate and damage uh, it consumes four ammo per shot it has extremely large spread and the rounds detonate after reaching certain distance it always comes in the explosive element that is the only element you can get it in it also comes in a variety of prefixes which i will read out now so we have the casual prefix which is increased projectile count quite a handy one really for uh, this multi spread bullet weapon it also has juicy which is increased critical hit damage sinewy which is just a general increase overall of uh, stats impetuous which is increased reload speed desperate is a higher mag size potent is more damage and finally bad which is the melee prefix which uh, will come with the blade so let's go to the wiki right now and read the usage and description so it says the flacker is a crowd control weapon it causes huge damage across a wide radius but is challenging to apply in common combat it only causes damage on detonation which gives the flacker a limited range in two ways the target cannot be too close or too far it is very hard to hit a close-up target as the rounds fly away for this reason many players prefer to use other easier to use shotguns which can cause more single target damage the flacker has a very low fire rate making it unsuitable at times while cocking the gun players will be vulnerable as they cannot sprint and avoid incoming fire players can however fire the flacker much faster by switching weapons as soon as they fire and immediately switching back to the flacker this negates its poor fire rate as well as allows the player to sprint in between shots making the flacker a much more deadly weapon at close range the high spread nature of this gun coupled with the explosive effect makes it effective against flying enemies within range as the huge coverage area can help catch swooping targets a useful method of using this weapon effectively is to fire it from above smaller enemies at their knees the projectiles often ricochet off the ground and land their target more often so there you go a little bit of a description there for you guys on uh, actually how to use it effectively like it says you cannot be too close or too far now that's quite important really in uh, actually judging how far you know you are from an enemy to actually kill it this was also a returning weapon from Borderlands 2 um, and there was many uh, little exploits that could be used with uh, the flacker to actually make it a hell of a lot more powerful and get some real game breaking damage onto it it was quite powerful with zero as well actually uh, that was a really really you know powerful method to use it with uh, and also in uh, the pre-sequel there is a bug in the game where you can actually uh, deal quite a lot of damage 
by firing, opening your inventory up and swapping the flak with a weapon with higher base damage um, from your backpack and then after one pause in the flak pellets will explode dealing um, a newly equipped weapon damage so it can actually be used as a little exploit there so let's have a look at a bit of trivia now flak comes from the German word <laughs> bear with me here this may take one more attempt um, Flak comes from the German word Flugzeugabwehrkanon, literally meaning aircraft defence cannon. I probably absolutely mashed that up because that is a big, big word. Um, since the First World War, it has been used as a generic term for both anti-aircraft guns and the rounds they fire. True to its name, the Flak can be used as air defence as its projectiles destroy rockets and rack with relative ease due to its large explosive radius. The flavour text is a reference to the word frack from Battlestar Galactica, a common saying as in frack the world. So that is where the flack the world uh, actually comes from. It's a Battlestar Galactica reference. As in Borderlands, there are many, many Easter eggs and references completely filled within this game. So uh, this one is a Battlestar Galactica reference. And uh, yeah, basically the, the word flack is uh, quite common really. You've heard of flak jackets and things like that. Uh, it's all to do with the explosive rounds and things like that. So uh, that's a little bit of background into the actual flacker. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at uh, some of the stats on the flacker right now. Right, well, uh, let's go and get a bit of an overview going now of the flacker. So as you can see straight away, the damage is absolutely huge for a level 70 weapon. It's a real, especially a shotgun, it's a, a very high damage. But then you start to see things go downhill a little bit. The accuracy is probably the, it, no, it is the lowest accuracy in the game, I'm pretty sure. One accuracy out of 100, that is absolutely tiny. But that is expected because, as we've just uh, read and uh, seen, it's just a complete spread weapon. There's no single point of shot. It's just pellets fly absolutely everywhere. So that is why the accuracy is so low. But it does make up for it in the fact that you know, it's such a huge spread, you're guaranteed if you're far enough or close enough, uh, whichever, to actually get, uh, you know, that shot on. So uh, the fire rate as well is absolutely tiny, as you can see, 0 0.5, that is really low as well. Reload speed isn't too bad really, but uh, you can't sprint in between reloads, as it said, uh, which does kind of make it, you know, a little bit hard to, uh, to survive for so long. And also the mag size is... You know, it's not bad really. 12 for a for consumes 4 ammo per shot. You get 3 shots and then uh, that is it. So uh, the only one that I can really think to compare it to uh, legendary wise is the uh, striker. Because there is no other explosive um, shotguns that you can actually go. So we're going to compare it to the striker. This is a normal striker with the, uh, the same prefix class uh, which is the projectile count so uh, I've gone ahead and got an identical striker for the prefix the rustlers is also prefix increase so as you can see on the striker which is a pretty good shotgun really it's one that I use quite a lot the damage by the flacker is just absolutely outweighed it's like nearly three t more than three times just about um, better damage so that is where the power comes that is where the benefit comes in this weapon but as you can see then, the accuracy is just absolutely trounced by the striker. The fire rate is a hell of a lot better. And the reload speed is also better. But you get a smaller mag size, even though you get more shots. You get four shots with a striker in this case. And you only get three technically with the flacker. But uh, yeah, there you go. That is uh, compared to another weapon. Uh, again, the striker for uh, precision and fire rate absolutely trounces the flacker. But the flacker does also have its benefits as well. So let's go on to uh, general mobbing and also bosses. So against general mobs, this thing is probably one of the best things that you can uh, actually have. If you learn to lose, use it properly, it will uh, pretty much eat up any massive general mob area. So uh, we're in the Hyperion hub of heroism here, and uh, we're going to be taking on Corporal Bob first. And as you can see, I pretty much one-shotted him straight away. He didn't know what actually hit him. He's not the biggest boss in the world, but uh, he's still a, a side boss, and he just got absolutely downed. But uh, against general mobs, you can see now on screen, it's just uh, pretty much eating up anything that comes to it. It really is uh, just crowd control central, so very good. Against the smaller bosses, again, you can pretty much one or two shot them really easily. Uh, against bigger bosses, you know, the tougher bosses, things like that, as long as you can survive well enough and get your shots in without actually going down, 
uh, again, because of the massive spread, some of the bigger bosses are in bigger in size as well. So people like the bosun and um, Red Belly, sorry, forgot his name there. So uh, yeah, they if you can get good enough shots on them, then you're going to do well. But the only problem is with the uh, precision and things like that, if they get quite a few shots on you, they're more powerful than just normal mobs and uh, little bosses then you're going to get down pretty quickly. So you've got to really uh, work out a good strategy of how to approach things like that. Against bigger general mobs like these Lost Legion suits you can see hanging around, you know, with the massive spread, the massive enemies, every bullet pretty much hits and uh, they just go down in absolutely no time. So, conclusion, what a good weapon it really is, uh, but it is for the more specialist players, I think. Uh, the people who are used to you know using certain type of weapon and that you've really got to practice it but if you do get the hang of it it really is a really good weapon i recommend this weapon with an explosive claptrap build for sure it really is uh, the best weapon for it other characters can use it quite well but an explosive claptrap will absolutely kill with this so rating out of 10 i will give this weapon an 8 out of 10 uh, just because it does take a bit of speciality to actually use it, you know, not everyone can just go in there and absolutely boss it straight away. But there you go guys, that is it for my legendary weapon guide on the Flacker. Really good weapon, really did enjoy using it and doing this video. So uh, yeah, just give it a try and uh, let me know what you think. So thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you guys in the next video.